all right so i've connected to um the vehicle obd can bus and now i'll open uh, something called as kvazer can king uh, which is a open source software uh, to read can messages if you have the kvazer dongle with you as i shown earlier uh, so when i start this first thing i have to keep in mind is i have to set the baud rate uh, usually the auto oems have their baud rate set at 500k kbps so i set this and i hit apply and then I press go on bus so you can see here uh, you, all, all the messages that uh, start popping up as the vehicle is running usually what I do is I click fixed positions and then I go to options and click hexadecimal uh, it's it's easier for me if one particular signal is has a fixed location and it's represented in a hexadecimal value uh, because it's just easy for me to understand um, that ways so the, the, these are all the can messages that you're seeing uh, you're, you can see numbers flying around uh, all these are from the vehicle uh, that that I'm connected to and this is it I mean now we start playing with the car and see what signals change when we press a certain thing and decode from them this is one another interface that I, I tend to work with uh, quite often actually um, this is called vehicle spy uh, it's similar to Kvazer that I've shown earlier um, it's uh, you can see here I've set the baud rate to 500k uh, and you can see all the messages uh, flying around uh, on this screen uh, the good thing about this is uh, it it shows me visually what things change when I press a certain signal uh, let's say when I press a brake now I'm pressing a brake so you can see this changed and this changed then I release the brake again again this changed and this changed so um, so it's easier for me to debug that ways uh, if I if you can visually see what things are changing